So uh, each year, Snowshoe Magazine um, has really gotten more and more involved with the sport. Ryan Alford has, it was really been a, a project of, of love for Ryan, and uh, he's hung in there through some tough times with it. Their senior writer, uh, Philip Gary Smith, who I've mentioned a few times this weekend, is going to present a very special award. And so we're going to have Philip Gary it's Smith. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I thought it was coming, you know. I can handle, I can handle the claim. Oh, look what I have, a word. Oh, I, oh, they're not for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, they take them away as soon as I say that, right? I am pleased to announce there are two awards permanently named in honor of former U.S. SSA national team member, tough athlete, and wonderful woman, Cindy Brockman of Minneapolis. These honors are the Cindy Brockman Snowshoe Magazine Snowshoe Person of the Year Award, which I will present, and the Cynthia Brockman Senior Women's National Championship Trophy, presented by Mark Elmore. Cindy Brockman was outside her Best Buy offices at lunch exercising in December of 2008 when she became sick. Prior to that time, she was a two-time national team member. She was a BORAD member, and she hosted this very event in the North Central region four years ago. In fact, those that were there, you got one of these shirts, and as others may not know, this is Cindy right here on the shirt. She graduated high school, by the way, in Platteville, Wisconsin which is only a couple of hours southeast of here, right, toward Madison? Am I about right with my geography? <laughs> Nobody argued. And, and, but, but she was, uh, uh, was multi-active. She had abilities and competitive volleyball, uh, trail running, road running. And she, uh, she cross-country skied the Berkebiner, you know, right around the corner from here with her two-time Olympian husband, Kevin Brockman. Her last snowshoe event in competition, too, was the Snowshoe Shuffle Qualifier in Minneapolis in February of 2009, three months after she fell ill. She was quite sick then, and it was an emotional day for everyone except Cindy, whose stalwart manner moved all. Her hug to me as she finished the first hundred yards of the start and you headed to a, a curve into a, uh, a single track area was, was powerful, though her gait belied her strength. After discovering her illness in very typical matter-of-fact Cindy manner, she said, I am inoperable, which is different than most cancer patients. Why do I have to be so different? She talked a little bit faster like that. I guess it is because I'm so strong and because there's a plan. Now I need to find and follow that plan. So from that plan, age 44, one year and 10 days from that shocking discovery at Best Buy, she succumbed December 27, 2009. I don't know that plan, but I can tell you part of it had to be that we all understand today how lucky we are that win, lose, or draw, we're able to race this sport, absorb the outdoors, and rejoice in life. And our, regardless of any of our personal human challenges, period. Right? I have that way with the lights. <laughs> but another part of that plan is that we get to celebrate her example, style, and memories with these two awards today and annually. The Snowshoe Magazine Snowshoe Person of the Year Award was first conceived and presented at her Snowshoe Nationals. Its first winner, 
a shocked Cindy Brockman. Selected then have been two major figures in our sport, athlete example and medalist Jim Gropner in 2009 and the U.S. SSA Sports Director Mark Elmore. At this time, what I'd like to do is to give a hand for all three winners, including Cindy, and make it loud enough so that she doesn't have to train to hear them. By the way, at that race in Minneapolis, and just a quick aside, this was not part of this, but that about a week beforehand, it was brown. And Cindy personally willed two blizzards in, and it covered it with snow. I have a feeling that last night she was helping us out today. Snowshoe Magazine is proud to present this award to a person because of their gung-ho spirit in snowshoeing and business for pioneering the way in the national awareness and promotion of the true spirit of snowshoe racing. For an entrepreneurial dream promoting the growth of snowshoe racing through event sponsorships and snowshoe series, including two largest in the country. For stepping to the forefront of visionaries realizing the potentials by becoming the multi-year United States Snowshoe Association National Championships title sponsor, multi-year. For fueling the sports expansion while exemplifying the vision and enthusiasm of Cindy Brockman, I am proud to present the 2011 Cindy Brockman Snowshoe Person of the Year Award to the founder of Dion Snowshoes, Bob Dion. title sponsor, uh, it was something that we wanted to do for 10 years, uh, that we've been in the business, we just were never able to, uh, and just go, just seeing all the people in the sport, uh, meeting the new people, uh, is why I got into the snowshoe racing, and uh, basically Cindy was one of the greatest that I've met, and uh, yeah, she's missed. Well. Thank you very much, Philip. 